Welcome to the shortwave radio channel and this is one video. This is aimed at beginners if you are a beginner in the shortwave hobby. Don't really know where to tune for signals. There are rules on shortwave. There are bands that have international broadcasts. There are bands that have amateur radio broadcasts. There are bands for all sorts of utility broadcasts, maritime, aeronautical and so on. So it's not at random that things are in the shortwave spectrum. They have to follow a set of rules. Of course, there's always one organization or one station somewhere in the world that doesn't follow rules, but in general, most organizations, most amateur radio operators, most international broadcasters follow a set of rules. And that is the frequencies that they use to broadcast. So I will share this page in the description below the video. This is shortwave.info, but I have selected the um, frequency or shortwave frequency bands page. This page actually has information about the different bands for international broadcasting. So this is worth checking out because it gives you an idea of where technically you should be listening to international broadcasts. Now, these are not fixed in stone. I mean, when you look at the frequency range that they show here, most international broadcasts are actually larger or a little larger than that. That's where some stations don't follow the rules, but look at that this gives you an idea of the international broadcasts where they are for example so shortwave broadcast bands where the amateur radio bands are um, what frequencies they used and there's you know of course uh, a little bit of frequencies at the bottom but it's worth uh, checking out where these frequency ranges are located and remember um, that you know, there are times of day that are preferable for shortwave broadcast. That's going to come in our next video. The best times of the day or night to listen to shortwave broadcasts and why also kind of explain a little bit. But first, I think one of the basics is understanding where to listen for international broadcasts because they don't show up everywhere. And we will also talk about little bits of uh, like tricks that you can use because there's sometimes I've seen a lot of people reporting stations on wrong frequencies. And we'll explain, of course, a little bit what could go wrong and why your station might be on a frequency on your radio that it is not in reality. Um, so, you know, we'll try to dabble all of that information and in images and so on. So get acquainted with the international broadcast bands, understanding where they are. And at the same time, sometimes, you know, we talk about meter bands and you might say, what's that? You know, what's the 49 meter band? You just said 49 meters. What's that? Well, here you have the meter band that is at the same time near the frequency range that you see here. So 49 meters is the six around the six megahertz international broadcast broadcast band and so on. So try to understand a little bit more and try to kind of learn a little bit here. These are the two most common um, general bands that people listen to. Uh, amateur radio bands, if you have single sideband, where to listen. And the international broadcast bands for, you know, broadcasts like BBC, Voice of America, Radio Romania, Voice of Turkey, and so on. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching our videos.